In this video we're going to create a wiring kit for the Stubble Nautilus compact air horn. Everything here costs around 10 bucks. The inline fuse I picked up at Princess Auto, including the wire stripper and fuses, 20 amp fuses, and a terminal kit. This I actually picked up on Amazon, but there was ring terminals, the butt terminals, the spade terminals, everything you need in uh, one little package. You may have some of this stuff laying around already. You're going to need some wire too, 14 gauge for sure. That connects your battery to your inline fuse, inline fuse to your um, relay for the air horn. 18 gauge wire or 20 gauge even is to connect your horn to the relay if the your existing uh, wiring doesn't reach where you want to mount this thing. Let's take a look at our relay for a second just to get a better understanding of what's going on here. So you've got some numbers here 30, 86, 85, 87. Number 30 is going to be your power source. So from here you're going to connect your 14 gauge wire to your inline fuse and the other end to your battery. Number 86 and 85, those are going to connect to the terminals from your old horn, the stock horn. So pull those two terminals off your stock horn, they're going to plug into here. 87, that's going to go to the new horn. So your stubble horn, this is going to go to the stubble horn. The other terminal on the stubble horn will connect to your battery or ground off anywhere on the bike where you've got a spot. So essentially what's happening is when you press your horn button, 86 activates a little switch in the middle here and that connects a gap between 30 and 87 and then your horn turns on. So let's take a look here. So there's 85 and 86. So basically this ends up closing and connecting 30 to 87. So when that closes, your horn's activated. So it's important to have this relay. If you don't put this relay in, what can end up happening is you can burn out the wires to your horn switch or anywhere along the way. And if that happens, you're gonna have to pull your bike apart to find out where that short is. So make sure you have this relay installed. The first thing I'm gonna do is connect the ring terminal to the inline fuse. My battery is in a little storage compartment on my bike. So I'm gonna be able to see if this fuse burns out when this light turns on. So I'm connecting this directly to my battery. From here, I'm gonna put a butt terminal and connect that to some more wire, which will lead to the front of the bike. So our wire is almost right to the edge there, and that's all right, so go ahead. I'm gonna use the blue dot on here, crimp this down. Our inline fuse now has a ring terminal on there. If you're not connecting this directly to your battery, you can put, instead of a ring terminal, you can put a butt terminal, connect more wire to it, and then at the end of the wire, put another ring terminal, and that can go to your battery. That's if you have, if you're limited on space or whatever your setup is. For my purposes, I'm just doing it this way. This is going to the battery. And now this, I will install a butt terminal to some wire. Doesn't matter what color wire you use, just make sure it is 14 gauge since it's going directly to the battery. I'm using this green one because all the others are black, so this is going to help me identify what's what. So now using a butt terminal, we're going to connect these two wires. So this is going to go into here, this one's going to go into here, and we're going to crimp them in the middle. We've got this wire connected to the inline fuse. I just crimped the end here. The other end I'm going to leave open for now. And this is only because I want to see where on the bike everything is going to go. And afterwards I'll put a terminal on the end just so I don't have all this excess wire. So once I figure out where I'm going to have it, I'll cut it and I'll put on one of these to slide onto the relay. So with another piece of 14 gauge wire, I'm going to strip one end and attach one of these terminals to it. The other end I'm going to leave open for now. And again, that's just to see how much room I need on the bike or how much wire I need on the bike. When I do figure out how much I need, I'll cut it and I'll put on one of these terminals. And this is what's going to go back to the battery. This is what we have so far. To number 30 on the relay is our power wire, which is going to our inline fuse, which is connecting to our battery. That's our battery. 
Now we've got on the negative side of the battery some more wire connecting to the horn. Or you don't need this and you can just ground it to your bike, but you're still going to need a piece of wire for that. Now we're going to get another piece of wire and that's going to go on number 87 of the relay to the horn, the other terminal on the horn. So there's three wires here. This one could be the smaller wire. This, this is going to be your 18 gauge wire. So you've got two 14 gauge wires, one 18 gauge wire. Next, you're going to remove your old stock horn and those two terminals are going to go on to 85 and 86 of the relay. And that's essentially your wiring. So I'm leaving all this extra on until I decide how much I need and then I'll cut it and put these terminals on. So that's why I'm doing it like this. You do whatever works best for you. If the wires you removed from your stock horn won't reach the relay, then you're gonna have to get some more 18 gauge wire and connect the relay to the wires that the stock horn was plugged into. I've measured out everything I needed. I'm going to be putting my relay under my seat, so I've had to add some wires. So I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Number 30 on the relay. That's going to our power source, our fuse, to the battery. So that's connected to the positive on the battery. Make sure you got that inline fuse before the relay. So that's number 30 of the relay. Now number 86 and 85, you're going to unplug your old horn, throw it away, and the wires that it plugged into, you're going to plug those into the two wires that are going to 86 and 85. 86 is going to be the positive. So on the V-Star 650, it's the red wire. The brown wire is the ground one. So it's going to go to 85. And then 87, that's going to go to the horn, the right side of the horn, right over here. And on this side of the horn, you're going to have a wire that's going to ground out, or in my case, it's going to go to the negative side of the battery. Does that make sense? Let's go over it again. 85 and 86, going to your stock horn wires. Number 30, going to your inline fuse to the battery positive terminal. 87, going to the right side of the horn. And this side of the horn, left side of the horn, going to the negative of the battery. The wire that's going to the inline fuse to the battery and from the horn to the battery, I'm using 14 gauge. It's the bigger wire. The wires that are going to, from to the horn and to the stock horn wires, those are the 18 gauge, the smaller wires. Just make sure you're using the small wire for that and not for your battery because you can cause a lot of problems. And when you install this, we're going to do it all with the fuse removed. And then we're going to put the fuse in when it's all done. Okay guys, so I hope you were able to understand things. Unfortunately, I didn't have colored wires, um, different colors, so I had to use the same color of different size to represent stuff, but I hope you get the idea. And I hope this helps you guys out. Guys, that's basically what you need to wire your horn. Um, I'm gonna do another video for installing the wiring, but this video is just strictly for creating the wiring kit for this. You can either spend the 50 bucks for the wiring kit or spend about 10 bucks and get the supplies do it yourself just remember to have a 20 amp fuse in there and your 14 gauge wire for the battery the other wires can pretty much be the smaller stuff 18 to I think 22 gauge or 20 gauge but all right guys hope that helped take care later days